Hey, good morning, family. No, no, let me yawn, okay? Let's all yawn. It is early. Wow. Hello and good morning. Many blessings to you this fine Tuesday morning. It is March 19th. And let's, no matter how early or what time of day you see this, if you see it at all, let's recognize Divine Spirit has a message today. So, oh well. Yeah, Jen's tired. Yeah, I yawned and I'm not editing it out because I'm not the only one that's yawning. Okay, well let's get into it fam. Here we go. Fairy Oracle. Magical Gateway. It takes courage and trust to venture into the unknown, yet this is where the greatest rewards are. It's time to step boldly forward without looking back. You know what this reminds me of? Well, first of all, yes, we're still on a warning from Spirit yesterday that says, Remind them, warning, you will have repeat cards. Because that's the way Divine Spirit works. They will repeat messages. But... Magical Gateway, yesterday, get out of your comfort zone. You don't need to know what's ahead of you. Just walk through the daggone door. Well, I don't want to. I don't know what's there. Uh, you are being led by the divine light. Step through it. You're going to be all right. You don't need to know. remember the potholes. You don't need to know where every, every pothole is. You're not going up against city council and trying to figure out how to fix the roads. You don't know anything about these roads, but you're willing to go down them. Let the gateway open and go. How much faith do you have? Mm-hmm. All right. All right. Angelic light worker today. I swear Nadia makes me do my math. Wow, uh, 18, enhanced protection for beautiful boundaries. Okay, so number nine, new beginnings. Hey, I like number nine. My birthday's the 27th, and a lot of people always ask me, how'd you come up with the name of New Beginnings Tarot, Jen? Because my birthday's the 27th, and when you add them, it's number nine, and it means new beginnings. Well, now you're caught up to Jen's um, opinion of that's how I created the name. But it is true. Nine means new beginnings. Enhanced protection for beautiful boundaries. Now, if it's boundaries the way I'm thinking, boundaries are beautiful because they protect us. But let's see what they're saying. What do they really mean? We are always safe and secure on a spiritual level, but sometimes our experiences can feel deeply intrusive. Well, who'd have thunk it? Anybody been attacked recently? This could be a surgical procedure, an encounter that gets under our skin, or anything else that feels that it has infiltrated our inner sanctuary. It is important to recognize such an experience and know that fear is not required. Fear, actually, I would reword that, fear is not allowed. The intrusive can be gently yet firmly resolved and you will feel clear, strengthened, and centered from within. With your boundaries, reestablish and enact once more. So, we do so much spiritual work, at least I hope you are, on a daily basis. Are you reminding yourself during meditation and prayer that you have to set boundaries? You have to set spiritual boundaries. You do not allow the negative. This is when we constantly remind you. Uh, I do not give anything outside of the divine. You do not have con consent. You are not allowed to be here. I am not a willing participant in your little mind games or whatever you're doing. 
physical attacks, spiritual attacks. It doesn't matter how it is. Boundaries. Let's remember the King of Cups. He is the King of Boundaries. He sits out in the middle of the sea, goes, you can't touch me because he knows who he is. You need to do that. So is the queen. And they know spiritually how to do these things. Set your boundaries, family. Okay? You are divine. No one can touch you. Speak your voice. That is the most highest vibration you can do. I am of the divine. You can't touch me. Okay? All right. Mystical shaman today. The arrow. Yeah. Shoot him with an arrow. Shoot him in the ass. Sorry. All right, Jen, focus. Okay, number three. Three, it's beautiful. The arrow. Let's see what Mystical Shaman says about the arrow today. Receiving this symbol reminds you that when you are in alignment with your heart and soul, I see where they're going with this, you are on target and will soon be hitting your mark. Be true to your calling. Release attachments, all that garbage. Okay, and free yourself from the bondage of unbridled ambition. Now is revealed to be a moment of contact in which your intention meets the material world. The arrow also symbolizes the need to set your creativity free. What are you holding back from? The sorry about the camera. Um, the arrow represents that you're on target. You've lined it up. It's in your sights. Go for it. Release it. Execute. You're right on target. All that extra stuff, those attachments and all that stuff, this is your chance. Once you release that arrow, you are freeing yourself. Okay? I know that's metaphoric, but that's what oracle cards are. Okay? Now, let's move on to our secret language of light. All right, 17, visualize. What are we visualizing? I know, Nadia's gonna say, well, what's number eight? Pretty sure that's wrapping it up, it's an ending. You're about, you're completing something, you're wrapping it up, you're wrapping it up in a box, put it in a boat, now she will correct me. Because I'm still working on how to do the gematria and all that stuff. But as far as eight, if nine is new beginnings, eight's got to mean wrapping it up, right? But this is visualize. Let's see what this is. If you can dream it, you can create it. Your imagination is a magical superpower that develops the content, look and feel of your life. You can use your inner vision to maintain, to transform anything in your life. Visualization helps us to create a dream life without the perceived boundaries. Oh, oh, we, we're going to talk about boundaries again? Okay, you see a theme? All right, perceived boundaries of the manifested world. To take your dreams out into the world, recall your vision of them as you meditate. Let the dream become a feeling that leads to a knowing that is so deeply ingrained it will become an automatic response. Through re repetition, this response gains momentum towards the tipping point between vision and manifestation. Now that you are privy to this universal law, and it is, it is kind of a law of uh, attraction, relax and enjoy the journey towards your desires. When a desire manifests in your physical life, a new desire will be born into your imagination and a fresh, fresh path will unfold. We put, just as much as we need to put boundaries on the negative we limit ourselves with the same boundaries. You cannot do that. You are limitless because you are the divine. Visualize what you want and go after it. And if you got to do baby steps, do baby steps. I visualize th this being granted to me. I wish this and this is what I want. Set that path and stick on it. Too many people are like, meh. I'm not quite sure that that's 
that's not going to happen. That's probably unrealistic. And they just give up, even before they started. Not okay, family. Visualize it and make it happen. We keep talking about manifesting. Do the work. It'll happen. But you start with visualizing it to begin with. Love and light today. Focus on your blessings. We focus on what we want. Have we focused on what we already have? Focus on your blessings. This is about gratitude. Yes, you will be enriched in every way so that you can always be generous. It starts with gratitude for what you already have. But I want this and I want that. Well, bless your heart, darling. Aren't you precious? Now listen. You have to understand. You want more blessings? You want to make it grow? Give gratitude for what you already have. We've got so much more than so many people in this world. And I'm not talking about the physical. You know how blessed this collective is to be awake and learning, relearning? I am grateful that we have our family, that we can lean on each other and ask each other questions. For that, I'm most grateful. That the divine is leading all of us, not how the mortgage is going to get paid, not where the electric bill money is going to be come from. You can give gratitude for those things. I think it's beautiful that we have reached a level of understanding in our spirituality, that's where it gets us to the next level. So let's focus on the blessings. Visualize the future blessings, but remember to give gratitude to the ones you already have. All right? Angel therapy today. Sacral chakra. All right. Sacral chakra is right above the root chakra. It's kind of the orangey color. Okay. So right above your root chakra all right, not your poop shoot, right above it, your gut, not quite the solar plexus, but right in between, okay, you are highly sensitive to chemicals, additive, processed foods, and energies right now, respect your sensitivities by avoiding harsh items, situations, and relationships, because that's your intestines, that's your guts, a lot of people got a lot of health issues right now with dietary stuff. I can't understand why I can't digest. I'm sick as a dog. My belly hurts all the time. Detox. Cleanse it out. Spiritually and physically. Get rid of the garbage. Okay? And when you're doing it physically with foods and that kind of stuff, do it spiritually as well. Cleanse it out. And you can talk to um, people that is like Nadia that can clean out chakras. I'm only an assistant at this point. I have not reached the pentacle of doing it on my own. Okay? But we really do need to cleanse ourselves. We have to detox all the stuff that's going on right now. All right. White light oracle number 35, which would equal number 8. Oh, there's a number 8. Mm hmm. See? Pearl of Sharo? Sharo. Well, at least it didn't say Shapiro. Nobody's, I'm not saying go watch Ben Shapiro. That's not what I said. Pearl of Sharo. Number 35. Number 8. What are we wrapping up here? What does this mean? All right. And I know Naughty will correct me when if I'm wrong on my numbers. Taking responsibility for your experiences empowers you. You are going to resolve an issue, mm -hmm, bring it to an end, through spiritual inspiration and higher guidance. You will rise up in full connection to your spirit and access a wealth of divine treasure. What? Maybe it's because we visualized it. Because we set our boundaries and our focus was shot through the arrow. Hmm. Who would have thunk it? Ah, wealth of divine treasure. That which has brought darkness into your world shall submit to the light and be transformed. Have courage and commitment to your awakening. For you are a precious being and can go far on the spiritual path this lifetime. 
Well, it kind of sums up uh, the Great Awakening. We are cutting ties with the old ways. That's wrapping it up. I am not buying this garbage anymore. You know, you know what you can do with your education? You can take it and shove it where the sun don't shine. Visualize your future and know that you are releasing all that toxic energy that's been coming your way all this time. We detoxing. Yeah, fam, I said it. Poop it out. I don't care. Spiritually poop it out. Whatever. Come on now. I talk to you the way people need to be talked to. You just tell it like it is. That's Jen. Welcome, all newcomers. You're probably like, what? All right. Machka of Kali. We had this before because I remember this beautiful lotus flower. Moksha. Moksha. <clears throat> okay, Moshka. Okay, so we are basically having uh, a martini of Cali. No. All right. No, it's not, Jen. Lay it down. All right. Here we go. 39. So 12, it equals 12. Nadia, come and tell us what 12 is. Her passionate desire for your liberation is unflagging. So we're releasing. Okay. All right. Liberation is releasing. And so your relief shall come swiftly. She is speaking to you from within. She is the voice of reassurance. Can you hear her? Trust her? Soon you will see things in a better light. You're going to be liberated from the struggle you are currently experiencing. Be true to yourself and your life path, and you will attract the way forward as obstacles disappear. Do not turn away from you are de destined to overcome all opposition, bringing your sacred path to fruition. It's a release mechanism. So if we've got these eights in here that say something has to end, release it, let it go, because we have new beginnings coming in. You got to make room, guys. You got to close a door, open a window. Close the chapter, start a new one. You get me? All right. Your final card today this tarot card four of pentacles ooh squirrel after he's nuts squirrel that's for you Schneider uh, so the four of pentacles can mean a couple of different things this can be a warning or it can be an indication that maybe you are saving for a rainy day. Maybe you are being very cautious with your money and your finance situation. You're hoarding a little bit, maybe because you know something's coming. But it actually can have a negative indication too. Maybe you're a little too controlling. Thanks, Spirit. Yes, I know you're talking to me. I got that. Maybe you're too possessive. Maybe you're too protective. I don't like threats, so I'm going to create my own nest, and that's my safety hole, and I'm going to stay there, and you can't make me calm out. This is, a, this is a prepper that, yeah, it is. I'm doing what I got to do because I got to protect myself in all aspects because it's a pentacle. It could mean finances. Maybe you're just guarding a little bit. I don't trust anybody. Smart move. And if you're not doing this, this is a recommendation that maybe you should protect your home. Put boundaries on things. You're not going to be caught off guard. And that's when you go, squirrel. No, be the squirrel. Collect your nuts. Do what you got to do. But make sure that you're not getting so possessive that it overtakes your life. This is not about doom and gloom. This is about taking precaution and a warning. Okay? All right, family. That is your message for this beautiful Tuesday. I love you, and I will see you 
tomorrow. Blessings.